Rebecca is making simple syrup using three cups of sugar for every two cups of water. She wants to create larger batches using 12 cups of sugar. How much water will she need? In this problem, we're looking at comparing two different items. We're looking at the comparison or ratio of cups of sugar compared to the cups of water. I know that I need a ratio of three cups of sugar for every two cups of water. But if we're trying to make a bigger batch where we're using 12 cups of sugar, we'll have to figure out what is the proportional amount of water that we will need. So how much extra water are we going to need? There are two different ways that we can start by solving this that we'll go through today. First one is a ratio table. And if we're gonna make a ratio table, make kind of a big rectangle and then split it in half. Well, that was a good line. And then you make some boxes and you're probably gonna need four or five of them to start. If you need more, you can always add them onto the end. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we have to label this. This table is gonna help us look at the proportional ratios of sugar to water. So I'm gonna put a S on the top, that stands for sugar, and a W on the bottom to stand for water. It doesn't matter, I could have put the W on top and the S on the bottom. It's just important that I'm consistent. Okay, so we'll start with the information that we were given. The first ratio or comparison that tells us that recipe needs three cups of sugar for every two cups of water. Now, if we're gonna increase that recipe, if we want to make a double batch or a triple batch, obviously we'd need more sugar and water. But in order for the recipe to stay the same, we have to increase them in proportional amounts to each other. So as one goes up, the other has to go up at the same rate. Otherwise, it'll end up being more diluted or more sweet than it was originally. So there's a couple ways we can do this. You can start by adding each time. So I could do start at three, and then I can do plus three and get six, and plus three again would give me nine. Or you can multiply. So I could do two plus two as four, or I could look at it as this is times one, this would be times two. Two times two is four. This would be times three. Two times three would be six. Same for the top. You'll notice that this is also three times two is six, and three times three is nine. I like this method a little bit more than adding because it tells me how many times greater it is than the original. Let's try doing times four. So three times four would give me 12 cups of water, excuse me, 12 cups of sugar, and then two times four, that gives us eight cups of water. Now that's the information that we were looking for. We wanted to know how much water we needed if we have 12 cups of sugar. So here is 12 cups of sugar. We can use this table to identify how much water. When we have 12 cups of sugar, we need eight cups of water for the recipe to remain proportional. So the answer is eight cups of water. I'm going to do the same problem, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a slightly different fashion. Uh, this time we're going to use a number line. In fact, we're going to use a double number line. 
So in order to set it up this way, I'm going to start with one number line for the first thing I'm comparing, which was sugar. And we'll use a second number line for the other item in our ratio that we're comparing, which was water. You'll notice I'm still labeling it at the beginning, so I know which one's sugar and which one's water. Now this time we're going to start with a marking that says that when I have no water, I don't need any sugar, right? That makes sense. We haven't started anything yet. Then we'll put another ratio or another uh, line that gives us our first ratio that says that when I have three cups of sugar, I need two cups of water. Makes sense. And you'll notice that's the same as our first column in our table. Then we continue to go up. If I have three cups of water and two cup, uh, three cups of sugar, two cups of water. If I do uh, plus three, when I have six cups of sugar, I need four cups of water. Plus three, plus two. Then I add three on the top again to get nine. Add two on the bottom to get six. So when I have nine cups of sugar, I have six cups of water. And I continue doing this until I go nine plus three is 12. Oh, that's the one we needed. And six plus two is eight. You'll notice that the proportions or the ratios formed are proportional just like the ones in the ratio table. So these two methods are similar, but may allow you to see um, the increases a little bit better. So why don't you take a moment and solve the problem on the next slide using either method. You could have solved this using either method. I'm going to show you using a ratio table. So I'm going to create my table. And the first thing I always do is put in my labels. So I'm comparing how much medicine, the number of drops of medicine, I need based on how much our doggo weighs, five pounds of body weight, so the weight of the dog. Your labels could be different as long as you understand which numbers go where. Then I'm going to start with our original ratio. I need three drops for every five pounds of our dog. So three drops if our dog is five pounds. And I'm trying to get to a dog that weighs 20 pounds. Ooh, it's a big dog. So I'm going to increase my ratio table until I reach 20 pounds of weight. So a 20 on the bottom. So this is, I'm going to multiply, but you could add three times two. This will be my times two. Three times two is going to give me uh, six and five times two is ten. Then I need to do times three and three times three is nine. Five times three is fifteen. How about times four? I might need another divider. Three times four is twelve. Four times five is twenty. Looks like we got it after all. So I know that now that I've reached 20 pounds of doggy weight, I can find the matching proportional amount for drops. So if I have 20 pounds of dog, I need 12 uh, drops of medicine. So our answer is that if our dog weighs 20 pounds, we need 12 drops of medicine.